Hey, my beautiful Aries friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I'm so happy and excited to have you all here today. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, Aries, this is a general reading for you, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if any one of you are interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below for all of you. All right, my beautiful Aries friends, we're going to find out what message Spirit Guides have for you today. I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck and we're going to get right into it. Now, I do feel a lot of zodiac signs this week. There's been money on all of your minds. So I feel for you, Aries, money is on your mind as well. That is the energy I am feeling here um, with the cards and just kind of, I, I'm seeing money kind of floating around in the air, like just energy wise like it's coming and going that is what i'm getting so let's pull three cards and see what we get oh my gosh aries so we've got the knight of swords coming in first next we have the five of cups and we've got the ace of pentacles i'm going to pull more cards as clarifiers but we're going to first get into these three cards here aries all right so right away the knight of swords um i feel for a lot of you you are thinking okay you're in your mind there's a lot of thought about how you're going to take action in order to gain finances okay money is definitely on your mind and you're trying to understand or trying to figure out in your mind come up with ideas on how you are going to become financially independent what can you do that is what's going on in your mind right now i feel that you are determined this year 2023 i feel for a lot of people this is your year my friends and you are going to make it so all right the power is in your your in your hands you hold it and the universe is there ready to back you up aries so i feel for you coming up with an idea and taking action on it is going to be of utmost importance here writing down your ideas is also very important in order to sort through what it is that's going on in your mind and you know i feel that you are ambitious, you have that determination, you have that will, you have that desire in order to move forward with whatever it is that you're planning to do here. Aries, I feel also uh, to gain finan finances this year for you, some of you also have promotions on your mind. You're wanting to switch up your career. Maybe you're wanting to find a different job that pays you more. But a lot of you, I do feel that you're wanting to separate yourself from that nine to five and go rogue and build an empire. And I feel feel for a lot of people in this world right now that is kind of where the mind is shifting to and rightfully so I feel that uh, working for someone else and uh, making them money doesn't make sense anymore so we're wanting to kind of shift our energy shift our mindset to a place where we can start um gaining that financial independence on our own, on our own terms with our own working hours. That way we have that work-life balance, right? That is what is important. And I feel for you, Aries, that work-life balance is at play right now for you, especially those of you that are working really hard and not really making money and seeing um, your efforts pay off, okay? So I feel that there's a lot of thinking around this. There's a lot of planning, a lot of strategizing, right? So this is definitely on your mind. I also feel with the five of cups that maybe there have been losses in your life, especially with finances. I know that um, we all know that the world is going through a, a recession right now, right? Things are super expensive and to even go buy uh, uh, eggs is like ridiculous, right? So money is tight and I feel right now in the next few weeks to a few months to hold on to what you have and not overspend okay and to really uh work around um budgeting okay this is very important this is what spirit guides want you to focus on not to focus on the things that you've already lost but the things that are about to come into your life okay so not to, and it's harder said than done or sorry, it's easier said than done. Um, but I feel for you, Aries, 
right now, focus that energy on what is about to come into your life, okay? Whatever's happens, happened. Let's leave that in the past. Let's release that energy, okay? Now's the time to, um, again, spirit guides are saying, release that energy, Aries. You need to release whatever has been lost, whatever's happened, whatever, um, you know, financial hardships you've gone through to release that energy because I feel like there is almost like this hold on it. Maybe you're thinking about it or worrying about it or maybe there's some anxiety around it. Um, there needs to be a mindset shift in with you and um, they're really strongly suggesting that maybe you work on uh, journaling, writing things down, okay? Write down. You need to learn to... Um, for some of you, it's the negative talk. Maybe there's people around you that are talking about money. Maybe you have friends or family that are going through tough times as well. So there's a lot of chitter chatter around that. So it's almost unavoidable to think about finances. I feel for you um, not to allow that to stick in your mind. Okay, it's almost like having a, a tick. You know, those ticks off trees that come in and suck the blood out. It's almost that's what I'm seeing here in my mind right now is a tick and it's kind of there. So um, we need to release that energy in order to do that. You need to be aware of what you're thinking. And the moment you recognize or are aware that you are thinking these negative um, thoughts or creating these um it's almost like um, putting blockages on yourself. That's what I'm feeling here around money. So I feel that you need to release that. I, I feel Aries also that you need to know that the universe is unlimitless. Okay, this took me a while to understand and grasp this idea. The fact that um, it is your birthright. You have everything available to you. Abundance, money, everything happiness joy if you want it okay and you know through our life experience from the moment we're born to the moment we're at now um there's been this idea around money right it could be our parents or maybe we've gone through struggles so money is like a really touchy sub subject for uh, some people and money is ever flowing it's never supposed to cause stress it's kind of like an energy that comes and goes so this is my opinion this is what I think and this is how I've always thought of money I don't really worry about it I think I've worried about it a few times and the moment I start worrying about it is when I start feeling it right when I start feeling that pinch where I start feeling um or noticing like oh my gosh my finances are kind of going like this and the minute I stop thinking and worrying about it, they go back up. So I feel for you, there needs to be some sort of a mind sh mindset shift around finances, okay? Because you are entitled to all the wealth in the world, but you have to, you know, um, invite that energy in and accept the fact that there is a limitless amount available to you, okay? So what I did was I wrote down... Um, like a dollar amount that I wanted. And I thought, since it's limitless, why not put a ridiculous amount on there and just see what happens? And you have to put actionable items as well as far as what efforts you're going to put in place in order to gain those finances, right? So if you were to do this, write it down, uh, write down a date by which you want this money. And, um, you know, what are you going to do to gain this finance? What What are you going to do? Are you going to put all your efforts in? I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure this dream happens for myself kind of thing, right? Say it to yourself out loud three times in the morning, three times at night. I suggest you read Think and Grow Rich. That is where I, I figured this out and I read this book and I incorporated all of what was written in this book. And let me tell you, my friends, it works. Okay, so I'll put the link in the description box here if you're looking to purchase this book, if you already don't have it. But I feel for a lot of you focusing your attention on not the losses in your life, but what's about to come. And look at this, you have full cups here. These are the ones that you're not seeing, they're there. You're just, you just have your back towards them. So you just have to turn around. So this is that mindset shift that you need to incorporate in your life. Um, my friends, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, look at this beautiful deer. Uh, I think that's a deer, right? With antlers. Is that what that's called, I think? Um, but look at how strong, look at how sturdy and stable this this deer is with this huge mammoth-sized mammoth pentacle on top. I feel like you're coming into this place in your life where you're about to start something brand new, okay? And this is the universe letting you know that blessings are coming 
something in my friends. Now's the time to plant that seed because that seed is going to grow into something so abundant that you've never imagined in your life. Okay, my friends. So you need to do this now. I feel that the potential is there. The energy that is there. The universe is letting you know the new moon is coming up. Now's the time to start Aries. Okay, so whatever passions, whatever desires, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest into your reality now, now's the time to take those action steps. And those action steps can start from you just writing down your thoughts, what it is that you want with your life. Okay, I feel very strong strongly that you need to do this because you are being blessed with brand new beginnings here okay this is what the universe wants you to know um, I feel for you there's going to be abundance in all areas of your life some of you are going to receive a call like especially if you're looking for a new career you're wanting to get a promotion what action steps are you willing to take in order to gain that right Espe those of you that are looking for jobs like start applying and don't uh, I feel this has happened to me in my life in the past where I've applied for jobs and sometimes the jobs that I want, um, I'm like, you know, I want to manage this big clinic here in, in the dental world and, and I'm going to apply for these jobs. And some of the words are intimidating, right? They're using complex language, right? The way they articulate the description of the job. So don't let that hinder you. Apply for it anyways. I feel that uh, some of us don't... Um, it's something there that kind of, I feel that's a blockage. So for you, Aries, if you're afraid of the words that are used in a description of an ad, apply for it anyways, and then do the research on what that means and, and learn the skill sets. There's so much free tutorials online in this day and age, my friends, that you have access to. Okay, so learn whatever you need to. When I started my tarot channel, I actually took a course through one of my husband's friends. And man, oh man, I cannot tell you how grateful I am to my friend Rich and Lisa. They put together this autonomy course, which you can take. I always have a link on it below. The only reason why I have that there is because um, it's it's a trusted connection, right? I mean, you can find your own courses online anywhere. This is just somebody that I know that there's so much value in what they teach. And there is a free, um, workshop, not a free workshop, sorry, a lecture coming up. If you wanted to check that out, the link is below. Anyways, I feel for you, there's a brand new beginning coming up and there's there's so much potential for you to gain finances, gain that wealth, that abundance, okay? That financial independence that you are seeking here, my friends. All right. Whoa, I've got a bunch of cards that just jumped out at me. All right. Whew. All right. So we're going to start here with the King of Cups. Got that card here. And then we've got the six of pentacles and next we have five of wands all right these three cards just shot out at me so i'm going to move these ones over here to the side and let's see what's going on all right so i feel for some of you aries there needs to be this um again uh your emotions and the things that you're thinking and how you're feeling to especially those that have anxiety around money around finances or around kind of things that are going on that there needs to be some sort of balance there needs to be stability around that okay I feel this new beginning when this approach when you see the universe um presenting this opportunity to you that things are going to come into balance okay you are going to master your emotions you're going to master the way you think but I feel that this is going to take practice and you need to start now again this is where that mindset shift comes in and you you know it takes time it takes practice to get get into that zone to get into that vibe into that energy to control your mind in order to learn how to uh, what kind of energy you allow into your into your mind and what you think right so I feel there needs to be more positive affirmations incorporated into your life here Aries uh, especially if you're worried about that money thing again the spirit guides are like there's this blockage around money in some of your lives where it's almost like money is bad or not everyone can have finances or there's some sort of a something someone said to you in the past where it's made you believe that it's hard to come across money okay that not everyone is blessed with this amount of money but that is all wrong i need you to wash all those thoughts out of your mind and start putting new 
you know, put new thoughts into your mind and use those to push you forward. This is what I'm getting here with the King of Cups. Okay, and balance those emotions out. Learn to balance them and watch how your life flows so seamlessly. And you're going to see how this, the finances, everything kind of uh, lays itself out right in front of you like this grand platter, right? It's the weirdest way to say it that way but I do feel for you this mindset needs to be shifted okay I feel that it's very important we've got the five of wands and the six of pentacles okay so I do feel there may be you're in a place right now there might be arguments there might be disagreements there might be a clashing of egos what have you around money or in your workspace, or at home with whatever. But I do see there are arguments. There's a lot of clashing. Sometimes these are things that come in that you're not aware of, and they just kind of happen over little things. But I feel for you, Aries, this is more around money and finances, okay? So I feel that this is going to come to a close. I feel this is going to end, and this is going to come to a place where you are feeling really good. Finances are going to start flowing into your life. You have this new beginning that the universe is promising you with and I feel for you you know the moment that you start um, switching that mindset of yours um, things are going to start unfolding in your life in a way that you have never experienced before so I feel for you there needs to be some sort of old habits old patterns that you have engraved in your mind that need to now be released okay you need to wash those away and put brand new thoughts and brand new uh, affirmations and positive thoughts into your mind here okay so whatever these arguments are know that all of this is going to go away out of your life boom gone okay and this brand new beginning is coming in and it is promising you that things are going to work out for the better. The moment you start taking action steps towards your goals, towards your desires here, Aries, you're going to start seeing so many things unfolding, so many things happening. And I'm seeing happiness everywhere, all around you, this beautiful, satis satisfactory, fulfilled life of happiness and joy and financial independence okay so I feel there's some work that does need to be done for those of you that haven't started but those of you that are kind of working on it there's that that mindset and you know spirit guides can't stress this enough here for you Aries for those of you especially around that blockage there's that blockage there around money that needs to be released okay um what I'm going to do is try to put some videos down in the link section that you can watch that I've used in the past to help with my mindset shift, right? Um, and these are just people on the internet that you can find yourself as well on YouTube. There's tons of videos that are available to you to for free to watch, right? You can find your own that work for you. But I do feel that things are going to work out better. I've got um, the Six of Pentacles coming in here, right? And I feel that the moment you you shift your mindset, start putting actionable items into your life, like setting up goals, writing things down, um, you're going to feel this uh, general sense of luck. Okay, there's it's going to start trickling in slowly, but you're going to see it and you're going to notice it right away. So this is what the universe wants you to know. This is what they're promising you that Aries 2023 is going to be your year, my friend. You're the one that can make this possible. And in order to do that, you need to put that work in. You have to put that effort in and you're going to watch things just flow in easily. It, it will come very easily to you once you've got that mind, mindset shift and start putting in actionable items in order to move in that direction. Okay, so that is your message here, my friends. I hope it resonates for some of you. If it does, comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.